Explosive testimony in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard multi-million dollar libel case this week. Here is what was revealed. Depp's bodyguard discovered human feces in the couple's bed. Amber later said the poop was meant to be a joke. A psychiatrist hired by Depp's attorneys claimed that she suffers from borderline personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder, making her officially, quote, a drama queen. Depp's former agent claimed that while he was setting up an attempted reconciliation at Amber's request, she was already dating Elon Musk. If this couldn't get any crazier. And most shockingly, it's been revealed that Heard wanted to include personal details relating to her broken marriage to Depp in a Washington Post opinion piece. Depp says that column, uh, he says, portrays him as a wife abuser that killed his career. Heard has argued that she never named him and only pointed out that she had been the victim of domestic abuse. That's an important point. She says she never named him. But it was revealed in court that she did want to name him in the piece. Turns out her lawyers were the ones uh, who nixed the details that identified Depp. Is Amber's $100 million counterfeit suit fall, countersuit falling apart? Joining us tonight uh, with all the details is the DailyMail.com senior reporter, uh, Caitlin Becker. Uh, Caitlin, th this is really uh, getting messy. Did you expect it to get quite this crazy? Honestly, I did. We had a pretty good idea of how this was going to play out based on the fact that he already had a libel case against the Sun in the UK, which he lost the last year. There weren't cameras in the courtroom for that one, and that case was nuts. So with cameras in this one, I expected it to be just as crazy as this, and I think it's going to get crazier. So there is this evidence that Heard tried to make a backdoor deal uh, with Depp and that she would be silent if he made this deal uh, with her. I mean, essentially, isn't that blackmail? Well, I think what we're talking about in this particular instance is this idea where he was going to be able to kind of pay her off for her silence, which we've seen a lot with Hollywood and non-disclosures and people agreeing to be silent about alleged bad behavior. So again, this something like this doesn't surprise me. This is a little bit how Hollywood works so that they can avoid a circus like this. So I'm not surprised that she allegedly tried to bilk him out of more money. Uh, Amber Heard right now is just being slaughtered on the internet. I see the comments every day, all day. I mean, it is just brutal for the most part uh, what, what people are saying about her. Uh, and, and there are three million fans who have actually signed this p petition demanding that she be booted from her next film, uh, Aquaman 2. Do you think that could actually have an impact? Could she actually be fired? Could this impact her career? Well, the film has already been shot, so they can't really put the toothpaste back in the tube in that way. I think if there is a ton of pushback, there's a chance they could edit her down to a smaller role in the film. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem that likely at this point, especially since I believe the film's going to come out next year when all of this will sort of be wrapped up. You know, that said, this petition is kind of old. It did pick up steam within these last couple of weeks throughout the case, but there is as you said, a really huge legion of Johnny Depp fans who are going after Amber Heard, not only on the internet, but they're also at the courthouse. They're lining up outside of the courthouse every morning. They're waiting to get those bracelets to go inside. I mean, if you look at the gallery, you turn around and you see a whole group of women who are mostly, for the most part, Johnny Depp supporters. So that's not, you know, it's kind of scary, I'm sure, from Amber Heard's perspective. And you see how the public has kind of chosen sides here. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, it, it is sort of scary when you think about her safety because it's one thing for all of this to be online, but they're outside the courthouse. I mean, do you think that, um, I mean, does she need security? Do you think it rises to that level? Well, she absolutely does need security, and she has it. Recently, she and her team hired additional security for her protection, specifically at the courthouse in the Fairfax area that they are looking out for. There are reports that they're looking out specifically for sort of lone wolf people who could be lurking around. They take a kind of circuitous route to get into the courtroom to make sure she gets in safely, to make sure she gets out of the car safely, because people really are. They're lined up. They're shouting things at, you know, at the people as they walk in. They have signs mostly in support of Johnny Depp. So there is a, a chance that something could happen to her. She is pretty well protected with this additional security, though. 
Do you think this is part of the reason that Johnny Depp did all of this in terms of the suit and taking it to this level, just to sort of humiliate her? I mean, is this sort of payback in a way? You know, it might be. I feel like the more I cover these cases and the more I think about this situation with the two of them, the more confused I am as to why in the world he has taken this as far as he has. Because really, when it does come down to it, I think both of their reputations are going to be so severely damaged after this. I mean, she's not coming off looking great here. She came off looking a lot better in the UK case, and we're still expecting to see her on the stand. So this whole perspective could change. You know, he said he brought this because he really did it for his kids and he wanted to repair his reputation and make sure that they knew their father wasn't a wife beater. I don't know what a great job he's doing looking like he's totally innocent in all of this. I mean, if you're in the camp that believes that Johnny Depp has never physically harmed Amber Heard, we heard audio and we heard words from his own mouth that he is an addict, he has addiction issues, he has alcohol issues, he has issues with drugs, and he is kind of a mess. All in all, it just doesn't seem great. Yeah, and I mean, you talk about their reputations. I mean, they're talking about human feces in the bed. I mean, does it get any worse than that? That's now out uh, in the public domain. That can't be good. Okay, real quick, uh, Amber Heard testifies in Virginia this week. Uh, what do you think we should expect with her testimony? I think we can expect a, a bit of what we've seen so far, which is a very even-keeled, measured Amber Heard. She's been very stoic, sitting in the court every single day. I think that we're going to see something similar to what we saw when she did testify. She was on the stand, I think, for several days in the U.K., in the UK case, she was very clear, she was very concise, she was very measured. However, that could change with the addition of cameras. People behave differently when you put a camera in front of their face and when you know thousands oh, yeah. and thousands Once of the people are watching. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a perhaps more emotional version of her. Um, I don't think she's going to lose her cool necessarily, necessarily, but I do think we'll probably see some tears, we'll probably see some tough moments. And I think that could really sort of touch the jury and tug at their heartstrings in a way when they see someone who has been allegedly victimized, as she claims she has, that on the stand and tell her story. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We know you'll be watching it closely. Uh, thank you, Caitlin Becker, for being with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.